Hello friends, how are you? I hope very well. I will try to make a tutorial in English, and then I will see if it is possible to translate it to some other languages since it is very necessary too. First of all, I am going to tell you about my latest version, the Loader 1.5.2. I will explain where to buy, the price, a what to do after paying, payment methods, how to update the program, on virus detection, I will explain if it is risk of ban or not, compatibility, its content, and where are the best profiles located, and aim assist activated. And well, as you can see, the price is $50. This is a one-time payment, no longer for any reason you will have to pay more. Help is totally free, as well as the updates. Here I show you the payment methods. As you can see, there are several payment methods. The links are listed in the description. Well, after your payment, right there on the page, we'll give you a download button where you will find your link to the program and your activation license. Okay, once you have it, you are going to create a folder on your desktop. Within this folder, you are going to enter the program you are going to download. That would become so. Well, once this is done, I also recommend you to enter this folder, a Windows Defender Exclusions. Here we go to Windows Security. As you can see, Virus and Protection, Manage Settings. You go to the bottom in Exclusions. Click on Add. Oh, Remove Exclusions. You are going to click here, add exclusion. You are going to choose folder, and you're going to put your folder in. Is here then in this location? Well, once this is done, the loader you have to decompress it. If you do not decompress it, you will never be able to download an update. Okay, let's decompress it, extract everything. And that's it, once you bring them, you execute it. When you run it for the first time, We'll ask for your license, and then you just introduce it and it would be ready. The program will then open it this way. As you can see here, check for updates if you click. Wait a little, and you will get a message. The message indicates that the update has been completed, and which is in the same location of the executable. As you can see, here he already showed me the message. And the update, here, is for this reason that it must be decompressed. The executable, if not this update, will not be found here in this location. When to update? And how do you know when there is an update? Very easy. It's very simple to update. For example, here you indicate that you are running the version 1.52. This part below this banner, I updated when I make a change, a higher version. Then you are going to see here loader 1.5.3. For example, when you see a higher version, the one you are executing, then you are going to click check for update. And just as easily as you would have the new version, Okay, then, I will explain why the program is unknown as a virus, why the folder must be created, and add the exclusion program. As you can see, because the program installation process, there is no installation itself, is simply an executable. But every time you click on a button, for example, already at these end, every time you click, the program will automatically create a folder on your system on which you are going to download, decompress and run DS for Windows. As you can see this process, or this algorithm that is making, is doing so in a hidden way. It is therefore somewhat mysterious and detected as a virus. In addition to program protection, the packaging, including license protection, as they are practical measures to protect both the program developers and therefore to protect end users.
To prevent this program from being shared, and only the user who paid for it will be able to use it. One of the questions I am asked the most, my program or DS for is at risk of ban. First of all, my program is simply like, if it were a direct access to DS for Windows and that's all it does. And DS for Windows is, well, neither is it. Why DS for Windows is not? It's because Windows DS for does not inject you, does not modify anything in the game, nor does it have anything that could be illegal to use. DS for Windows is 100% focused on your controller. And as you know, DS for Windows uses macros. A macro is very, very different from a script. Therefore, there is no risk of ban. As you know, and for those who do not know, is only compatible for play controllers, which would become PS4, PS5 Dual, and the PS5 Edge the latest. And so for the scuff who are from play, no problem with them either. Okay, can also be used for mouse and keyboard and Xbox controller, but for this purpose, an application called Rewast is required. But how I imagine that already, at this point, you already know that this application was banned by Activision. That application can no longer be installed on the same computer where the game is. Therefore, need some methods to be able to use it. I have a totally free method in my Discord. A complete tutorial on how to do everything necessary to be able to use it. For here continuing, I will show you their content. For example, here are my profiles. Here there are profiles that, that are for sale in other channels, as you can see. Why PS4, PS5, and PS5 Edge? What happens that some people here used an old version of DS for Windows, which was not compatible with PS5 Edge? Therefore here, what I did was to change that version to a more recent version. And here then does not mean that it is compatible for this control only to this version of this controller. And so here in tools, some tools such as runtimes, if hit hide fails you, Here's how to repair it. How to remove in Putlug. Here are several tools off. Ah. Here in tutorials is an initial tuto. Is a complete guide. I formatted a computer. I made a complete installation. How extra profiles work. DS for Windows Remap. How to use. How to add to exclusions. Here are several tutorials, as you can see, here in my profiles. As you can see, I will run a DS for Windows. First to show you the macros, let's run it. Well, and as we have already executed it, as you can see, my DS for Windows is hidden, not seen here in the bar below. And if I minimize it, here you can see when it is maximized. True, but I minimize it. Disappears and also disappears from here. If you try to click on another button, it will tell you that. DS for Windows is already in execution. To reshow it from the click on this blue logo. And automatically it will show it to you again. Okay, and here I would be. When you run DS for Windows, it is very important that here you have the key. Let's open hit hide. As you can see, you here, you will not add anything. When you run a Windows DS for hit hide, will automatically put the roots here. Okay, if you come here to devices. As you can see now, it is very easy to see which controller is the one we are going to block because I have the PS5 Edge controller. But if you had a PS4 controller, you would look at two similar controls here, and you wouldn't know which to block it. That is why it is very important that DS for Windows is turned off, so you can't get confused in this part of here. And why do the two controllers continue here? Because we have not refreshed this tab. If we click here, Applications, we return to Devices.
As you can see, it has already been deleted. The virtual controller created by DS for Windows. And we already know which one we are going to block, which is the controller. Physical we have connected to the USB port. Okay, let's select this box. And we are going to enable the lock. Ready? Once you do that, you have to close. Sorry, you have to close hit hide. If you don't close it, as you can see, the key will not appear yet. If you see the key, it is not there. And although the controller is locked, why? Because the changes have not been implemented. HitHide applies the changes when you close it. For example, we are going to close it. Let's click start. And here you would have your key. If you do not have this key, the macros, aim assist, absolutely nothing will work for you. Okay, it is very, very important to have this key. Okay, this button here. Because what it does is that you finish the process of DS for Windows if you click. We'll close it to you. Okay, here in Guide button. If you click, here is a guide how to activate the aim assist, how it works, and here is the whole method of repair in case it stops working for you. It explains everything. Once you pay, you're going to have access to a channel where he will explain how to activate aim assist. Well, let's see the macros, that's what we were coming for. Allow me to run DS for Windows again. Okay, let's go here to, well, here to edit, special actions, and as you can see, here are the macros. There are macros anti-recoil, as you can see, there are a lot of 1 them. 1 to 20. Okay, and why from 1 to 20? As I told you, all macros are adjustable. And the anti-recoil in the same way. DS4 does not eliminate you 100% anti-recoil. But you here, you are going to select a macro to control you depending on which weapon you use. Your accessories, the recoil of your weapon, more than anything else. Okay, here you are going to select a macro. He who controls you well your weapon. And it's as simple as that. And why many? Because of this very reason. For that reason, so that you do not have difficulty to modifying the macro. Just click and you're done. Cannot see here is a macro. This macro does self-breathing for sniper. Sniper automatically holds your breath. Macro auto ping to mark the enemy. Macro bunny hop that automatically keeps jumping while you shoot. The drop shot bends down and shoots. The dual guns was before it did not exist. In the game, the option to shoot with both weapons. What this macro did was shoot you. The two weapons at the same time, the dual guns. The macro lock, what it does is like an aim jittler. What it does or a rotational aim then. What it does is that it rotates quickly. But as I tell you, it takes away a little mobility. Outlock 50. Takes away your mobility, but only 50%. Macro slide cancel. For canceling it L3, the macro snake. There are other macro snake. The macro YY. As there are several here. As you can see. Here are all available macros. I do not recommend using so much macro. I think a slide cancels the sniper. What other macro will be good? I think nothing more auto ping. Okay, and all profiles. As you can see, this is the share button. Any profile you choose. If you press the share button, as you can see here, I'm going to press it on my controller. See the bottom. All profile is changed to rapid fire. More than anything else, this is not rapid fire. It's as if it were an automatic shot. I recommend you to use it for only on one shot gun. For example, when you fall on the map with your gun, you are underwater. There is very, very necessary to use it. Can't see if I press share. You return and if you switch to another profile, for example to AA, you see press share. If I press share again, will return me to the profile I have chosen above to boost in the same way as you can see. That's the macro is its content and that is what is contained in my program. The most important thing is where the aim assist is activated from. Aim assist is only activated at these two buttons. Those who say 360 aim and 360 the 360 aim 
If you click here, it indicates, which is activated only by pressing L1 or L2, so that only by aiming. Instead, the other, adjustable aim assist, which is what it means to AA. As you can see, it says L1 R1, L2 R2 to activate. What it would be when you are already shooting. This now, which one of your choices do you want to use? Well, here I am going to show you how to activate aim assist and how it works. Where are the best profiles located? As already indicated in JK King. What are the aim assists that are activated? This is activated by pointing and shooting, and this only by pointing. Let's run this one right now. Let's go to OK before you run it. I comment each profile has different dead zones, different type of pointing curve, response curves, and this already depends on each one of us. Not everyone fits the same curve. That's why that I like to work with different profiles and so that each user can test different profiles and fits your curve. Here is what I did in the latest version 1.5.2. I added this new button for that question. I added the profiles that customers use the most in these three buttons and I put them only in this one here. Which is the one we are going to execute right now? Okay, we execute it. We wait for it to open. As you can see here is the key. Everything is fine. Okay, we are going to aim only and we are going to get close. As you can see, does not tracking it at all. I need to move to get it tracked or something. Move the joystick or move like this. But it does not tracking it at all. Okay, now. Let's go to DS for again. The guide, I will leave it to you in Discord on a private channel. And we are going to stop and activate aim assist. Okay, click on the game and as you can see, I will do the same as a moment ago, but now he sees the difference. Okay, there is you can see tracking the one in the back. But look now, you can see. Clearly, you can see the change. Well, there is the active aim assist. Let's try the anti-recoil. Also explain how it is configured. Here, I am going to shoot only without controlling my gun. As you can see after, it starts to go down in a while. That one because it is too high in anti-recoil for this weapon. Okay, let's remove one three. And we are going to put a little less pressure. Let's put about a 10 or less. Apply and save. Whenever you activate aim assist, never click stop. To keep aim assist active, aim assist will not be deactivated until you close DS for Windows and reopen it. Okay, you can change profiles, but and aim assist will be active in all profiles. Okay, you are going to edit special actions. You select macros, always just apply and save. Never stop again. And aim assist would remain active. As I have already set the macro to 10. Let's try it again to see if it continues to be downloaded. As you can see the macro is perfect in 10. And aim assist as you can see is also active. Okay it's that simple it is activated. It's very very simple. Simply follow the steps I indicate. And you won't have any problems with the activation of this aim assist. I'm going to show you the controller configurations. Let's go to settings. Dead zone. The right stick. It is very important that you have it at zero. If you do not have it in zero, aim assist will not be activated. And the rest, you can adjust it to your liking. Okay, go to aiming. I have it in 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, if aim assist is not activated. In dynamics and black ops, you have to change dynamics to standard. Okay, must be standard or black ops. Oh, dynamics and black ops. In one of these two, you must be activated. Now we are going to. Graphics. The screen must be in full screen borderless. So that when we click on the Windows key, the game is not minimized. And be able to activate aim assist. Otherwise, you will not be activated either. Before finalizing this tutorial, 
For people who have never installed DS for Windows, and it is the first time they do it, when you run a DS for Windows, will appear as follows. We'll run DS for Windows, and since you have never installed it, I would come to you like this. DS for Windows. Even if it's on, it won't detect any controllers. But at the same time, you will see a window like this one, right here. Here you have to install VGembus. For DS for Windows to detect your controller. And option 4, of hit hide, which is the one you are going to put the key. You have to install this one and this one. Otherwise DS for Windows. It will not work. And then not be able to follow the guide as I indicated. I think that would be all. And so, thank you very much to all those who have supported me. And here we are still. Creating the best for you. Until next time and may they be very well.